All right, you guys, we have officially made it to Germany. We're here at the airport. Unbelievable, man. We are here. Here's my boys back here. Got my brother, Ken, Chris, Cody. We're ready to do this, man. This is going to be the trip of a lifetime here, for sure. All right, so where are we off to first, Chris? Or is it a secret? Autobahn. Autobahn. Yes. Yeah, and what's the speed limit on the Autobahn? I had no idea. Never saw a speed limit, <laughs> so. <laughs> so Chris and I are awake. The rest of the crew. <laughs> We're gonna have fun anyways, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> first stop in Germany. We're about to walk in and check out some cars. We're making our introductions, getting to know each other a little bit. This is awesome. <laughs> what do you got to say, Cody? Oh, Is that a good way to start your Germany oh, trip, my brother? God. <laughs> my face. <laughs> oh, oh, right? Here's our second stop in Germany. We just got our minds blown by seeing, you know, a one of one pre-war race car, BMW. And they said, okay, now we're gonna go get a car for you guys to drive. So here's what we're pulling up on here. We've got a Dino, we've got a 348 behind me. We've got an Abarth, and that's an old OG Abarth, by the way. So here we are wondering which ones we're all gonna drive. It's up to me. I'm going with the Dino. Oh, this is so cool. Outrageous, man. So here's the lineup of cars just for our first little round here. It's a Turbo 2002, a Dino, an Abarth, and a 348. And this is just our second stop, you guys. Man, the Chrome Cars guys do not mess around. <laughs> what do you think, Ken? Dude, that was too epic. <laughs> right? This thing just wants to backfire constantly. Yeah? It just makes you laugh. <laughs> It's such a blast, right? It, yeah, four speed. And it's cozy in here. It looks like it. You guys look uh, like you got to know each other yeah, really well. It was comfy. <laughs> it, is. it was comfy. So driving experience number one was my brother in the 348. I was in the Dino. Cody was in the Abarth back here. And Ken was in the 2002. Just, I mean, we've been here for a couple of hours and we've already experienced a couple of bucket list items. Just amazing, man. Amazing. All right, so what's next on the hit parade for us here at Chrome Cars is we've been looking and looking at cars because there's a lot, obviously, to look at here. But what's next up for us is it's time to do some driving. We've already picked out a handful that we want to drive. So cars are going to start rolling in and we're going to start cruising. As I always say, hold on, because here we go. All 
All right, so we're pulling out cars now to go do a little bit of driving around here in Germany. Just a little lineup of cars, the Z8. They call it a Z8 over here in Germany, Europe. The 190, that's an Evo 2 right there. That's a car we didn't get in the US. I'm almost speechless on that one. Then over here, just chilling, is the Ferrari 330 GTE. That's a special one. And then here's Eleanor. Oh, you just gotta love Eleanor, man. You gotta love it. And again, you guys, this isn't a recreation, you know, no knock against any of the wonderful recreations. But if you saw the movie, this is one of the three cars you would have seen being used in the movie that Nick Cage would have driven. Any of you guys that have followed the channel for any amount of time, you know this car behind me here. This is the Cuda. My brother owned this car for years. Built by Dave Salvaggio, who later went on to form Speedcore. Used in the Fast and Furious 6 movie. Here it is in Germany, man. So we're about to take this thing out to an airstrip along with the GT2 RS Porsche and the Copa Camaro. Are we about to have some fun? Oh, hell yes we are, man. All right, so here's the setting. As you can see behind me, some pretty outrageous cars, right? We got the GT2 RS, the Cuda, the Copo Camaro, wide open country. And we've got an airstrip behind us. A couple of planes, once they take off, we get to take off too, except for we're not getting air. Unbelievable. okay to go ahead and use the uh, airstrip as a runway for cars. So. And you don't live your life a quarter mile at a time, do you? Oh no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Turn. I missed third gear, so I kind of had to readjust, but <laughs> you gotta straighten it out as you go, man. Yeah. So much power. This thing the is, torque's amazing, oh, isn't it's, it? It's intoxicating. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna go again. Right, here comes another bucket list. I'm in the 2RS with my brother. Holy shit. <laughs> so we're gonna do the uh, proper launch control here. We've got the PDK sport button on. The exhaust is opened, and then we've got the dampener set, so Porsche makes it really easy. All you gotta do is literally plow the throttle to the ground, quite hold the brake, and let go. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! saw 270 kilometers per hour <laughs> just now. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's a lot. The uh, the car is so good. It's amazing, isn't it's it, so dude? so good. And it just Porsche. gets planted and planted and planted. I mean, it's just Porsche, holy dude. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. actually shaking a little bit right now because that is such an incredibly intense launch. Cody, are you prepared for possibly the most intense acceleration you've ever felt? Oh, hell yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Strap in, you're gonna need it, buddy.
Can I do it again? Can I do it again? You should yeah. probably do it again, All Cody. Right. to describe? No. It's not, huh? No. I, I just got to do that I think eight times and every single time. Like, I know what to like expect at this point and it's still it's, you, get, it's you get this thing going, right? Uh. It's just like, it's so planted. It's just like, yeah. you don't have to do anything. No. You know, you're just no. putting your foot down and it just goes. Yeah, the car does the work for you, right? No, it doesn't lose traction at all. It yep. just launches. Yep. Uh, it's so hard. Yep. Totally, brother. How fast? So here's a scene that hasn't happened in a long time. My brother and I in his Cuda in Germany. Germany. <laughs> I think it's uh, probably necessary that we uh, play at least one strike down, right? I think so. So let's, uh, let's do that. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, that's the end of day two. Hard to believe we've only been here two days and we've done so many incredible things from launching the GT2 RS, driving Eleanor, driving the CUDA again, all through the countryside of Germany here, driving a Dino on the Autobahn, on and on it goes. This is just the end of day two. Tomorrow, we head to Nürburgring. We're not gonna drive the ring tomorrow. Tomorrow is driving to Nürburgring, getting set up and ready for what's to come on Sunday and on Monday. Two days driving at Nürburgring. That's right. So this is the end of this episode and this will be continued. So for now, all I can say is later, man. <laughs>